Hey guys, Deerman1999 here. Um, tonight I decided to do a couple of reviews. Um, I should have them, I should have like three up in the next few days. So the first one I decided to do was the, uh, Ham HD Plus 110. So... There, you can see. So we'll start with the front here. You've got some cords here. There we go. So on the front, you have your ham logo. Your metal drum, which spins, although mine seems to get caught on something in there. Your cleaner bar with golden gold, uh, gold bolts on there. Your plastic headlights. You got your mirrors there. I believe they actually do reflect, which is pretty cool. Got one of those on each side. Up here, this little tank is plastic. I think. Actually, no, that's metal, sorry. And you've got your two knot or er, holes there. Or you can put in water. These are the ballast tanks. Two little gold bolts there. Actually, I'm going to. Oops. I'm just going to use my knife here. So you got your two gold bolts on there, one there. Moving on to the side, have some more rivets there, and there, 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 and there. Got a minuscule warning label there, right there, and this part here is metal. Some rubber lines in there, plastic brakes. And leave. And a motor with lines running to it. Here you have your Vertgen Group logo. It's pronounced Vertgen because they are German. You have another tiny little warning label there. And another tiny one up there. Some vents and some steps and a handle. And then this door here opens. And then there is an engine inside, but you've got to open both doors so you can get the light through to see it. So there you have your engine inside there. Up here you have a little dot there, and you've got your lifting points there, warning labels, fuel tank, I believe more water tanks, some hoses, and then this side is very like the other. Here you have tiny little warning label some rivets in there, rubber lines more rivets, another warning label your machine de designation and then you've got another little motor in there and that silver part and some steps
On the back, you have your cleaning bar, plastic lights, ham logo, metal drum again, which does spin freely. And you've got another water tank there with two of the filling points. Now we go onto the cab. Most of this model is actually metal. So on the top of the cab, you have your paint job and this tiny little plastic warning beacon. I have the ROPS version instead of the enclosed cab. Now in the cab, you've got your steering wheel and your seat, which does turn and it also moves to the side. You need to see there. So that moves. It does not move on the enclosed cab version. Actually, I believe it does, but it's a lot it's much harder to take advantage of that function. See there is a close up of the chair and the steering wheel. Then you also have your little dashboard in there. This is a very small model. I will compare it to my pickup truck here. This is a 143rd scale pickup truck. But there's a good size comparison. This is a very small model. Now we move to the underside. Got your lettering there. This is a model made by WSI. Got a cleaner bar right there. And here's your articulate your pivot point, which this is very well replicated on the model. So with this you can articulate both ways. And you can also do that, which allows you to cover a wider area. And that just about concludes the re my review of the WSI Ham HD 110 Plus HD Plus 110 Asphalt Roller. This model retails for about sixty dollars, and it is definitely highly recommended. It fits well with most models in your collection and it will fit on a first gear tag trailer. So thanks for watching, rate, comment, subscribe.